the voice. An old adage says, actions speak louder than words. But in today's generation, words feel faster than actions. With just one click on the send button, bullets made from head speech hit my target continent away. It is death at first read. The cemetery is social media. Burying its victims alive before an autopsy is done. Every victim is survived by likes, emojis, and comments of rest in peace by the same fingers who never type words of peace. A comment is never just a comment. So take a moment to consider your words before you post them. Fact check to find the truth of every information. And our differences in belief, religion, preferences, and opinion should never be the graveyard of our existence. Let's be the voice of those who have been silenced, whose self words have been crucified on the cross made from hate speech. We need to come together to fight. This is a good fight for our faith. An old adage says, actions speak louder than words. But this generation is faced with a greater threat. All it takes is one unchecked speech and a click to start a war. We are faced by a greater threat than genocide and the funeral. Will not be televised. It has always been said until the lion learns to talk, the story of the hunt would always glorify the hunter. But today, you will agree with me that the story of the hunts now glorifies who is better with illusions and telling false stories. And it doesn't matter if it's the lion or the hunter. Africa has always told stories. The tales by moonlight, folk songs and stories where our path to learning, knowing and becoming literate about our society and community. Beneath the trees where we sat were our first media spaces. But the question is, what is your story? Because we live in a different world now, a world mediated by digital technology and, and media. We need our media and information literacy lenses to see more clearly and beyond. So, permit me to tell you a story of today. Today we are in the age of the media, but our stories really haven't changed. But the methods of telling the stories have improved. Today we gather on Facebook to face the challenges that limit us. On Instagram, we instantly share our thoughts. On TikTok, we talk about ways to improve society. With each click of the send button, we remind ourselves of what values are most important to us. The values of love, peace, gender balance, information. But another question I would love to ask is, are we clicking wisely? Are we thinking critically? Yes, we speak different languages. I speak English, Yoruba, Pidgin, and Igbo. And you probably speak French, German, Dutch, Arabic, Spanish, and many other languages. But we all have one common mother tongue, and that language is art. So we dance, and we push a step further, the solutions to solve hunger and poverty. With poetry, I would write poems about the history connected to trees because I understand that for each death of the death of a species of tree means the death of history, culture, traditions, and truth. With film and visual art, we are painting pictures emotionally, mentally, and most importantly, digitally, of the possible world of a rich global peace justice and true leadership, irrespective of our differences. This is a call for art to be at the forefront as a strategy implementing tool for media and information literacy. It's a tool 
We are calling upon her to preach gender relevance, a tool for peace amongst young people, a medium to instill character on the proper and correct use of the social media spaces, and a bid to return sanity to those spaces. This is a call for artisans, for artists, for technocrats and partisans to see that art is beyond just entertainment that satisfies only for a moment. It is a medium that can help us to learn, unlearn, and relearn. So let us give a rebirth to the art of thinking, listening, acting, and empathizing because the arts are the gifts. We must birth the media and information literacy story. It is the truth story. And guess who is telling it? We are telling it. And in all, it's important we make our living become history again while telling our media and information literacy story together. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. I know that you are very committed because you came last year uh, during the Global MIA Week in uh, Abuja. Yes. Yeah. So you are convinced and you, art is uh, at the heart of changing the mind of the young people. Certainly. Do you think it will change uh, the consumption of social media as well? Definitely, because we are in a space whereby art is literally the new wave. You go on social media and you see people post one particular video. It could be just 10 seconds and it's getting a million likes, a million shares. It shows that it is possible to change the perception of people. You see a particular dance step is being posted online and 60 other countries, young people are repeating the same dance step without telling each other physically to do the same dance step. So it shows that art has the potential to influence and change change our minds towards a better use of social media spaces. Bravo. <laughs> Congratulations. Okay, I think we, thanks a lot for your presentation. Thank you so much.